Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. It's me, Mr. President, your host, and we'll be going up uh, playing this game, Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. It just came out today, and this is, will only be my second playthrough. Um, I didn't beat it the first time, just got into a hundred some turns and just to check it out. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go and set up a game. We're going to play on a moderate difficulty. We're going to have a quick game pace and then standard map size. Accept it. All right, so now we get to pick a sponsor who sponsors the spaceship mission. And we can choose the arc. Uh, we'll increase covert operations by making them 25% faster and cause 25% more intrigue. It could be the Pan-Asian Cooperative, which produce, uh, gives a 10% production boost towards wonders and 25% worker speed so you can improve your tiles a lot faster. Or we could be Franco-Liberia, and they uh, gain a free technology for every 10, ter 10 virtues developed. Um, you'll see what those are when we start playing. Uh, Slavic Federation, where orbital units stay in orbit 20% longer, and the first one launched grants a free tr technology. Or we could be Polystralia, and that gets plus two trade routes available for the capital. Or we could be the Avithian Protectorate, where cities and outposts acquire new tiles twice as fast. Uh, that's, that could be a pretty good one for building your uh, civilization. We could be Brasilia, uh, where the units have plus 10 uh, strength in melee combat. 10% strength in melee combat. Um, could be the African Union, where they get plus 10% health or food in growing cities when health healthy so yeah um and I think I think we're gonna go and try and try building the wonders that uh, give you the win for this game so we're gonna go with the Pan-Asian cooperative <laughs> All right, next we get to choose our colonist, and I could either choose scientist plus two science in every city. I could choose refugees; they give plus two food in every city. I can get aristocrats; they give plus three energy and plus one uh, health in every city. We can go with engineers plus two production in every city and we could go with artist which is plus two culture and plus one health in every city and hmm think I don't know I have have it up in the air about aristocrats or artist uh, Hmm, I think we're going to go with the aristocrats. Next, we have to choose the spacecraft. And so we're going to, we can have a, the continental surveyor on it. it. Reveals coast on all the map. Reveals all the coast on the map. So that gives you an outline of where you're playing. 
Uh, we could have retrograde thr thrusters, where you get a wider area for choosing where to land your first city, and additional visibility around the starting area. We could have te tectonic scanner, where no technology is needed to see petroleum, geothermal, and titanium resources. Or we could begin with a fusion reactor, which gives us 100 energy at standard speed. Or we can begin with the life form sensor, reveal alien nests on the map. I think we're going to go with continental survey, survey, yeah. That should be interesting. And now if we choose the cargo, we could go with hydroponics, begin with an extra population in your first city, a laboratory, begin with pioneering technology, raw materials, begin with a clinic building in your first city, weapon arsenal, begin with a soldier unit, or machinery, begin with a worker unit. Hmm. Let's see, I think we should go with pioneering because we want to get uh, settlers pretty quickly and you need pioneering to settle cities. So, we'll go with that. And I think this Atlantean world will be nice. Let's make fall 390. Atlantean world, a world of islands of varying sizes separated by narrow passages of water. That could be very interesting. So, we'll start with that. Experts from Colony Archives, Personal Log, Dao Ming Shao Chao. Uh, C D three six nine eight forty one. I have chosen to lead the Pan Asian Cooperative of Earth to a new alien world. What we establish there will be my colony, and there they will be my people. <laughs> they know I demand nothing short of perfection. The secrets of our new planet will be ours. And ours alone. I have no doubt that we will continue our tradition of success and rebuild towards a brighter future. Hello. All right, I'm sounds very good. And simulation resource or advisor. I am equipped um, to introduce you to the basic system. I'm not gonna show any on this new planet. Additionally, We're I can provide some advice based on situations you encounter. I played like this, so I'm gonna go with experience player. All right, so this is what our start looks like. We've got some chitin and some fiber and some algae right here. It's very good. There's some more chitin over here. And I think if I build a city right here, I can reach this eventually. And the xenomass, three xenomass, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll go a harmony route. Um, I don't see anything else around. Oh, yeah. Very cool. We're on a fungal world. If you can tell from how the ground looks. Alright, and first we'll send our guy over here. Oh, we found some glow. Glow rock. Uh, float stone. Float stone, yes. Choose a production. Um, well, we could either build a clinic, an old earth relic, or a trade depot. We don't got nobody to trade with, and we got a lot of health. 
We don't earn much uh, culture each turn, so we might want to do that. Though a second explorer early could help us, but I think we can't move pretty far. Yeah, we need other things before we can be exploring with two explorers, so that's not really useful. And as far as I can tell, this is a pretty, pretty peaceful looking island. Oh. It may actually go into this giant piece of land out here. So maybe a second explorer wouldn't be a bad idea. It's only seven turns, let's do that. Alright, and so, for our first technology, um, say we knock planetary survey out, off the way, out of the way, yeah. Oh look, a resource pod, right on the other side of this canyon. Oh, so Phyraxite. Three Phyraxite. Not that much, but okay. Some more algae over here. Good to know. I have something that needs your attention. Hmm. Very well. We found a derelict settlement. Maybe we can discover something from them with our explorer. And another resource pod. So, we got two resource pods that will help for the quest. He's going to go ahead and start an expedition there. And three more turns for our uh, explorer. And two more turns and we grow another size and city. So we need to build a clinic after this. Alright. So the Ark has settled. How may the corporation serve you? American Reclamation Corporation. Your explorer has discovered something wonderful. There are many more sites like this so, to investigate around the world. Your so you expedition, your expedition thoroughly the investigated the derelict settlement. It found no survivors, but it did find records from the last desperate days of the failed settlement. A psychohistorical analysis of their struggles has provided your people with insight to, on how to avoid the mistake they made, providing 30 culture. Awesome. So now we're going to go and grab this resource pod. Construction. Inside the resource pod, you found the basic satellite, still intact, and enough rocket fuel for it to reach escape velocity. A free solar collector is now ready for launch in the city of Tiangong. And our other explorer has woken. And so now we're sending him. He's in miasma right now. So he's going to lose some health, but that's alright. And we got the satellite. So we're just going to launch that over what all the workable tiles we got. And choosing a virtue. Plus 10 labor towards building production. Ooh. It's a good tier bonus. Oh, 
Oh, we get two virtues. How about that? Let's go with knowledge. We're gonna go industry knowledge. And now we build a clinic because we need to keep our health up. I mean, it is four, but we've got another settler being produced in four turns. All this settler production. I don't know. The city's growing pretty fast. Alright, so we found some copper on these hills over here. That'll be good. You have discovered a station. You can establish trade routes huh. with stations to receive various supplies. Right, that, that station need. spawned right where I would have wanted to build a city. Somewhere around here. Now I can't. Now I can't. Unless I just let that station die off. It's always a possibility. Inside the research pod, you found a cache of laboratory equipment for Mulder, with precision made with precision techniques that are difficult to replicate on this planet. The equipment is eagerly welcomed by your scientists, providing 10 research. Planetary survey is done in one turn. How about that? All planets possess inherent value, and establishing the exact dollar value of the property should be a priority. Alright, so, we finished planetary survey that allows uh, units to embark and cross deep water, it allows workers to build the work barge improvement. So, we're gonna send this explorer over here. Let this one continue going up. Coral. Silica. Algae. Root. Hmm. Might have to build a city here just so I could keep people out of this area. Control it as a chokehold. All right, now, um, hmm, what should I go for? Should I go for engineering? Combat rover reveals titanium. Physics allows the ranger unit, builds an observatory, and a launch complex. Chemistry can build a laboratory, additional silence. Recycler produces production, reveals petroleum, can build a petroleum well.
could build a farm. I think we might build. Go with this science advisor. Let's go for genetics. Our next turn. Oh, another resource pod. How about that? Sputnik, Slavenska Federacja, pozdrawiam ah, Tibia. How about that? Slavic Federation has landed on this planet. Completed. Guests from home. All pieces of the instruments are accounted for. Our scientists will make good use of this instrument sent from Earth. We received 10 science. Inside the resource pod, you found a collection of goods and luxuries from old Earth that your people never thought they would see again. Please rally and refocus your people, providing 25 culture. Now we get to choose another virtue. Should we earn 20 research from finishing expeditions? Should we generate each city generates 0.25 culture for every population? Well, that could be good. Or more energy plus energy from every basic resource. Plus 5 energy in the capital. Plus 15% production towards wonders. Well, we don't got any wonders yet. But that will come in handy when we're building wonders. I think this additional culture should be good. Because, uh, then we. And we get our culture to build up faster, and that will only lead to more virtues. Oh, this guy doesn't even have any exploration modules. He needs to go home. Maybe this person is pretty close to me and the, the other one. The doors of the Protectorate are open. Goodbye. So now we're going to build an old earth relic to help with the Production of virtue or culture, I mean, yeah, the production of culture. Uh, on to the next turn. We're gonna go explore this island with the explorer. As you can see, it's a pretty big island, should have a lot of resources on it. Next turn. Quest decision. Blood bank. But since opening our clinic, the populace has been split by an ideological divide. Securing and improving our ter new territory has put great strain on both our military and civil workforces both contend that the hazards they face should be offset by state-sponsored healthcare. Our fledgling colony does not have the resources to do both, which has the greater need of aid. Provide healthcare for defense workers plus 15 city hit points from clinics. Provide care for civil workers plus one health and from city clinics. Hmm. Well, we're not really at 
at, under attack from anybody, so I'm gonna go with the civil workers care. Defense and security are vital, but our colony must invest in its infrastructure if we are truly to thrive. Our civil workers are the engine that powers our growth in our economy. Provide them with the care is a small price to pay to safeguard that progress. Plus one health from clinics. Next turn. Another quest. Choose a station to charter. Quest decision. Several new ventures wish to establish their operation near our territory. They provide different services that may be useful to us. Church of Dawn's Light provides one food and three culture to any city that establishes a trade route. Golden Bell Temple provides one food, one energy, and two culture to any city that establishes a trade route. I think we're going to go with the Golden Bell. Oh man. Well, kind of far. See what we can do. I destroyed an alien nest. Oh man. I walked it right into an alien nest without knowing it. Down here. Look at all these aliens. Wolf beetle, the alien drone, raptor bug, another wolf beetle. Whew. Doesn't look friendly over there. See what happens. Oh, they all ran away. You go to war with the soldiers you have. Make sure those are the soldiers you want. Alright, so we get to choose a new research. And I think we're gonna go with ecology. The vivarium provides more food. Maybe? No, I don't know. Oh. It'll be good for our. Yeah, should probably do it. Orders. All right, this explorer needs to explore some more. Inside this resource pod, you found a cache of laboratory equipment from old Earth, made with precision techniques that are difficult to replicate on this planet. Oh, more equipment. Good. Plus twelve research. Ecology will be finished in six turns now. Your explorer has noticed something strange ah, nearby. We found this crashed satellite in a resource pod. Hopefully these guys leave us alone. We need to build a trade depot now. Next turn. Grab the resource pod real quick. All of it. So ecology will now be done in three because we just gained 12 research. Uh, 
this guy? So the African nations just landed over here. Now this research or this explorer has a new Our engineers uh, have discovered a new efficient expedition module. Once constructed, you can launch a satellite to the orbital. Alright, so now we have researched the new technology ecology. And, uh, so it allows us to build the vivarium and ultrasonic fences. It also allows us to build the miasma miasmic repulsor or miasmic repulsor to develop a new virtue and I'm gonna go with this field research earn 20 science from finishing expeditions now we're gonna try and get this explorer back where he was start exploring this area where hopefully nobody has explored before so we can find more resource pods I think we're gonna go with chemistry now Each one. Hopefully that stays away from my cities. So the your expedition team salvaged the wreckage of a crashed satellite from some kind of some kind. It had a protected cache of information from its observations in their orbit. Which your expedition team relayed immediately to your scientists for analysis. They were able to do preliminary research on a tech distant technology called artificial intelligence. Ooh, very cool. Now, I'm gonna move here. Oh, great. Where's my asthma? Great, right where I wanted nobody to land. El pueblo unido de Sudamérica live. The people of South America. Our city sure has grown up quite a bit. So now we're going to build a trade convoy because we don't have any and we should have at least one going to far base one. Alright now we're uh, research.
Alien sciences, because there's that source of xenomass near us, and if we can work it, that would be good. Ooh, another xenomass. Nine xenomass. What was this one? Three? This decision. Our relic has provoked an ideological split amongst our citizens. Some believe the old earth relic is an instrumental as a source of solace for the grief people feel over their lost world. They want it left in reverent peace as a shrine. Others think it represents an a valuable repository of traditional wisdom that must be studied and displayed publicly if humanity is to embrace their new home. Leave old earth relics untouched. It grants all relics free maintenance. Open all old earth relics to the public and it gives them extra culture. I think we'll go with free maintenance. That'll help free up some maintenance so we don't have to spend so much. So this is a very hostile island over here. Well, I mean, they're not attacking me, but it's filled with indigenous life. Ooh, look at that. Phyraxite. Eight Phyraxite. Oh, that's the place it just discovered. Quite a few uh, bases around here. They all decided to land close to me. Nearby, at least. Yeah, sure, let us work together. We have no quarrel with you. Now I've got a trade convoy. And I guess we're gonna go our base one. Now should probably build um oh, hmm. Hmm, should probably build a colonist. We 
got six people at High Gong already. It's quite a lot. Another distinction discovered that provides stray food in one culture. And it's nowhere near me. Over here, I think. Uh. Next turn. Turn thirty five. Fifteen more turns. Alright, so we get to develop another virtue. This time I'm thinking going with the industry. Gaining that extra energy from every basic resource. So if we turn on uh, the yield icons, we can see that a lot of things, all the basic resources are getting two energy now. This one's got three. Your explorer has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort crash of crash satellite, or perhaps alien in nature. You should all I guess that's our satellite. No, nope, not ours. See if there is something worthwhile to be found. Damn. Franco Liberia has finally come and joined the party. It's about time. Some of these places are pretty big. Now what am I talking about? Even we only have one one place. Alright, so we're either gonna domesticate the wildlife or eradicate it. Hmm. I think we're gonna domesticate it. Expedition that next turn. Camp Cascade has been founded. Oh, and who's this? Freeland. Come, Mr. Haban. Good. Good, good, good. Freeland has joined the party. Turn 40. Ex our trade with Far Base 1 is going along. With the trade depot now built, we've been able to amass an aquatic, an ad, ad, adequate, oh, wow, why couldn't I think of that word? Surplus of resources. The question is, what to do with our own, with our abundance of goods? Do we send it to our factories or allow our merchants freedom to trade with it? 
plus one production from trade depots if we send it to the production or plus one energy for trade depots energy or production uh production Thank you next turn the expedition team salvaged the wreckage of a crash set oh thanks for interrupting me Crash satellite of some kind. It was recent re re relatively intact after falling from orbit, resulting in use many useful scrap materials that give your city of Tai Gong, Tai Gong, a boost of 80 production. Awesome. It's great. That is great. You know how great that is? It's great! And yeah, we're gonna build a city over there. Maybe one right here. Build another colonist. Get those cities popping. They landed right where I wanted to go. This means war. With what armies, right? <laughs> well, where should I send this to explore? <laughs> all right, send them all the way over there. Next turn. Oh, hey, yeah. you go here. Next turn. Next turn. Giving you an order. Hmm. See what the tiles look like. All right. So this is there. One, two, three. Two. 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 I'm gonna go here because I can still grab the xenomorphs. Xenomass. Hopefully. When you meet a new neighbor, you greet her with... Alright, so we courtesy. finished Alien so Sciences. Also, will we get to know our new alien neighbors? Allows us to build the Xeno plant, Xeno fuel plant, and the Xeno nursery buildings, and allows workers to build the Xeno mass well. Now we can get use the Xeno mass that's near our territory. Mm. 
I'm gonna go with alien adaptation next, I think. Well, no, maybe we shouldn't. It's 42 turns. Go with alien life forms. I'm gonna build a city. Oh, this outpost is giving me trouble. It's causing all sorts of problems for me. Hopefully that will be a spot far enough away from it. I need to build a marine before I send this guy off though. Or a soldier. I don't even have a marine. Oh my god. Can't bloody put you anywhere. Let's just send this guy on his way anyways. Firebase one's at least giving me some resources. So that's good. Sure will open our borders. Siege worm coming in. A soldier. That's good. Let's just go send them to help out that base. Now I think we'll build a farmer lab. So we found an outpost. Completed the quest, found an outpost, and we got a free soldier unit for it. So we're gonna keep him at the outpost.
Develop a virtue. Extra culture equal to 30% net of positive health. Each city generates 0.25 plus 25% science for every population. Well, that could be good. Plus 25% production towards buildings which have been built in the capital. Oh, I think that's very helpful. I mean, we can't build any buildings in any other city yet, but we will be able to, and it's gonna be good. Oh, look, we got to develop a free virtue. Oh, how about that? Hmm. Go with the science one. All right. So now our science is at fourteen, and we got three health plus ten. Energy a turn. Good. All things I like to see. Hopefully, these aliens will leave my guy alone. For the time being. Discovered a resource pod. Hmm. Alright, well, that's all we have to go. So, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.